All right, you guys, let's talk about these three problems, four, five, and six, that we did in class, and just talk about ways that we can solve them. Um, I think the problems that most people were having is when they weren't setting up proportions. So let's see if we can figure that out, all right? Um, so essentially, remember that what we're talking about is these figures are similar. So in this case, one triangle, where we know all the numbers, has been shrunk down. And now we're trying to figure out some of the numbers, right? So let's just take the side number seven. Seven, when I shrunk this side length down, it turned into x. Those are called corresponding, right? So I'm gonna just write this as seven turned into x, right? Those are gonna be parts of my proportion. And let's look at some others. Uh, I know that six, six turned into four. And I picked those because I need to have at least three numbers in order to solve a proportion, right? Two numbers uh, on the side that I know for sure, and then a couple numbers, or at least one number on the, on the ratio that I'm trying to figure out. All right? And now I can solve this by finding the factor, or I can solve it by using cross multiplication. Uh, those are two strategies. So let's, let's try finding the factor first here. So this says that uh, six times something equals four. And we should know that that is a division problem. So over here, I'm going to do a little side work, right? Six times some mystery number equals four. People think, oh, this can't be done. But remember to follow the steps, right? Just ask yourself, how many groups of six can you take out of four? The answer is zero. Zero times six is zero. And you subtract, and you're left with four. Four sixths. Now, you could do this with decimals, and it would come out to be, yes, 0.6666. But A, I don't think most people know how to divide with decimals. And B, most people do this, and they come up with 0.333. Um, so just, just be careful, OK? So it turns out our scale factor is 4 sixths. So I'm just going to go over here and write in our scale factor, 4 sixths. And I'm up here, I'm going to write 4 sixths, right? I'm going to multiply the height, or the red length, by the same factor that I'm going to multiply the base by, by the green length. Okay, But we have to use the same factor. Um, so we can, I, uh, let me just prove to you, I'm going to try and do this really quick, that 6 times 4 6 does really equal 4. Okay? So here we go. 6 times 4 6. Right? 6 times 4 is 24. 1 times 6 is 6. And when I simplify this, I'm going to get Four, right? So now we believe, hopefully we believe that four six is the right scale factor. Let's try it with seven. Seven whole numbers times four sixth is going to turn out to be 28 divided by six, which turns into four. And uh, what is that? Four sixths, which I'm going to simplify in my mind to two thirds. So there we go. Seven times four sixths equals two thirds. So we know x equals four and two thirds. Now let's just do a little check on this, right? Uh, if six turns into four, right? Let me get the green pen. Six turns into four. Think about seven. It's just a little bit bigger than six. Turns into four and two thirds, which is just a little bit bigger than four. So that seems about right. That seems reasonable. All right, now let's see if we can figure out why. Oops, I didn't mean to. It's supposed to be an eraser. Um, why? All right, let's call this the blue side. We know that 12 is going to turn into y. But here's the nice thing. We already know the scale factor. This triangle has gotten smaller. We're multiplying it by 4 sixths of its original size. So 12 times 4 sixths, right? That's the size. You want to multiply every, every line by the same scale factor. We don't want to end up with one of those skinny mugwump characters, right? Or a short, fat one. Uh, 12 times 4 is going to turn out to be 60. And wait, is that right? No, that's the wrong number. 12 times 4 is 48. And 1 times 6 is 6. And that turns into 8. So now we know that y equals 8. Right? So in your answer, you would say that x equals four and two thirds, and we can say that y equals eight. Boom, boom. All 
All right, let's try another one. This one's a little trickier. Uh, there's still two to work with. And, and there, are, there are other ways to do this, right? You can pick really any combination as long as the numbers correspond. So I'm going to pick 9 and 15, right? 9 is going to turn into 15. And that means I need to pick some other numbers, right? So I want to find, let's start with x. I like finding x first. So let's find x, right? What side is going to turn into x? The answer is 12. So I'm going to say 12 will turn into x. I just need to find my scale factor here. Or, you know what, let's use a different strategy. Let's use cross multiplying. Um, 12 times 15 would be 150 plus 30. It's 180. Heavens to Betsy. 180. And here, x times 9. I'm going to write it as 9 times x. Let me use a use a little dot here instead. Okay? 9 times x. And these two things should be equal, right? So here I am. I've got some side work to do now. 9 times times something equals 180. Now, I'm sure you're all screaming the answer in your head here, but remember, that's a division problem, right? 180. Right? 9 times what is 180? And the answer comes out to be not, not 2, right? Some people might be saying 2. Uh, that's, that's not it. What goes there? A 0. The answer is 20, which sort of makes sense, right? 9 has gotten bigger. The 12 should get, get bigger, right? So up here I'm going to say x equals 20. Uh, I'm having some technical difficulties here. x equals 20. All right? Now, uh, that's using cross-multiply. I'm going to erase this side work so I can work on my y. Now I need to go back and try another problem, right? Uh, why? Why do I need to do that? Uh, why, Mr. Meyer, why? All right, so um, y is going to turn into 15, but it's getting bigger, right? So, and, and we don't have a scale factor because we use cross-multiplying. So what am I going to do? We could just do the same thing, right? We could say uh, 9, let me back up here, red, 9 turns into 15, Right? 9 becomes 15. Those are my red ones. And now I'll just say y. y is going to turn into what? It also turns into 15. Whoa, wait a minute. It seems kind of fishy. All right, so let's just try and figure it out. Uh, what 9 times something equals 15? Let's use our multiplication here, right? Uh, so what times 9 equals 15. Well, let's see, 1 is 9, and we're going to have 6 ninths left over. 6 ninths. Uh, I'm going to simplify that to 2 thirds, and I'm going to say my scale factor must be 1 and 2 thirds. So, hmm, let me think here. What times 1 and 2 thirds equals 15? It feels like I've seen this somewhere before. Uh, that's right. It is 9. Okay, it is 9. Why? equals 9. Right? And this is a funny problem. It just gave us, you know, in, this, in a sense, they gave us the answer. Right? We saw in the red that 9 turns into 15. So then they turn around and ask us, what, what turns into 15? And we know that it's 9. All right, so but we still found the scale factor. All right, racing right ahead. Let's take a look at the last one. Boom. This one is kind of similar in that kind of corny way. And, and, and you look at it and you can say, well, it looks here that, uh, that 18 is going to turn into, oops, back up. 18 is going to turn into 12. So I can write down 18 becomes 12. And then I'm going to say to myself, well, I want to find y. So 36 is going to turn into y. So let's just write this here. 36 is going to turn into y. Uh, and I need to find this factor. Uh, so, you know, you could do a number of different things, right? Um, I, we could cross multiply if we want, but these numbers are so big they kind of scare me. But I, so I'm going to ask myself instead, really, 18 times what is 12? Right? 18 goes into 12, or can be taken out of 12 zero times, and I have 12 left over. 12 eighteenths. And that is going to simplify to 2 thirds. Okay, two thirds is my scale factor. 
So I just need to figure out 36 times 2 thirds is what? Let's do it real quick. 36 times, uh, that's over 1, times 2 thirds is going to be, what, 72 divided by 3. Do a little more side work here. 72 divided by 3 is 60, and we have 12 left over. That becomes a 4 is 24. So 36 times 2 thirds is 24. Why is 24? Now let's take a look at this, right? 24. So if 36 turns into 24, and we know that 18 turns into 12, right? so you can just look at this now and say, this is, starting, this is all starting to match up. If this is 12, what times 2 thirds is going to turn into 12? And you can kind of see it right here. It's right here again. 18 times 2 thirds is 12, right? So remember, our scale factor is 2 thirds, right? So you know that this one has to be 18 also. Right? X is 18. So Y is 24 and X is 18. I sort of got carried away with the blue on this one. All right, that's 11 minutes. Um, but uh, that, that's it, right? It's just setting up your proportions and finding the scale factor. One thing that's going to slow you down is if you can't multiply with fractions. And we've been practicing that in class. I think you'll be fine. Okay, uh, come to school tomorrow and with questions, right? With questions. Um, and I'll see you later.